Hi, this is Tim Sheed. Uh, this is lecture number 12 in quick terms and it is in the module 2 of the CSCP books. So all of you, either you are doing the CSCP or not, in my suggestion, if you're in a supply chain career, you should know these terms at least at the basic level. Now, let's see what the input terms mean. Input terms are international and commercial terms created to simplify the international transactions. Input terms are defined first and issued by International Chamber of Commerce in Paris to help importers and exporters in 1936. Input term determines which party assume risk at certain point in the transportation process. Input term also define which party is responsible of each task associated with sh shipping product. In this lecture, we will cover six input terms as written on the slide. So next we define what is the input term is. Okay, hello. Uh, come to the second slide. So for better understanding, we will give you the real life examples. So you can easily able to understand the input terms. So here are the examples. Seller. Assume the seller is in India, located in city Qingdao, and seller has 200 refrigerators in his warehouse, which he intended to sell. Buyer. A buyer is in India, and he is a refrigerator distributor in Mumbai, India, and he has a warehouse from. Uh, from where he can distribute refrigerators to the customers or dealers. So what's first term EXW X warehouse. So look at the picture. There is an EXW. It's out of a warehouse. This is the location A and there is D there is the location B that is the warehouse of the buyer in Mumbai. So all cost occurred from the point A to the point B belongs to the buyer. So all cost such like that will be bear by the buyer. This includes inland shipment cost like, like you you move from the EXW to uh, uh, inland cost, you, know, you means to that the container uh, is sending is your responsibility, loading is your responsibility, then you go by C, it's your responsibility, then until this stock re reached at the port, at the location B, all of the cost and the risk, understand, all of the cost and the risk belongs to the buyer so this i very clearly i just again tell you this is totally buyer responsibility to pick the stock from the location a and either he has to bear the transportation cost that and transit insurance then you it reach into the port and all duties and custom clearance it has to clear then it reach in mumbai all the custom clearance and and the boat expenses he has to bear and then he has to make the in transit shipment from the sea port to his own hair warehouse so all the expenses and the risk belongs to the buyer here the buyer is the main guy who is taking responsibility of almost everything so we go for the next slide and i just try to quickly finish with it so the next term is that is the number three term we that is the number two term we're using that is called fac free free carrier so difference between x warehouse and fac is that that the seller will ship the stock from e a, a location a to location B. Location B is your loading point for the port. It may be your warehouse. It may be your the place where you shift the inventory to uh, to the port or 
to the other uh, destination points maybe it's by road not necessarily by the sea so this app uh, this apply on road and sea both so from b to c so from b location to c location so all cost expenses for example from b you go to the seaport and then you move uh, from seaport to the Bombay port then you offload the stock uh, and then you deliver uh, to deliver it to the location C so from B to C all expenses and risk belongs to the buyer and from A location to B location all the expense and risk is bear by the seller so hope you understand this one now come for the input term number three cpt that is carrier paid to okay that simply means all the expenses of the transportation from place a that is seller to the to the uh, receiving location described by the uh, buyer all transportation expenses will be bear by the seller so here comes the risk normally all the risk from point a to point c is bear by the buyer so but look at look at that snap you know from from the seller point a to b b is b is the loading uh, the carrier carrier loading so from point a to point b uh, you know the risk will be uh, borne by seller rest of the risk from point b to point c will be bear by the uh, buyer so it's very easy so so it depends upon your contract maybe you know you you can uh, shift all the risk to the buyer from point a directly to point c so we assume that uh you know he he has some uh, there's a, a there is a warehouse b which may have like a uh, loading facility in, into the into the courier our warehouse maybe near to the courier near to the uh, port so so this is easy again i tell you the all the cost uh, for the transportation from the seller location to place C the buyer desired location will be bear by the seller okay all the expense all the insurance cost and risk from point B or maybe for, maybe from point A to C will be bear by the uh, buyer so the expense of transportation bear by the seller the insurance cost bear by the uh, buyer so hope you understand this one is not that uh, complex please listen to my rest of lectures listen and again you you will be you will hello oh no. just go for the term number four that is called cip carriage and insurance paid to is the same as CPT in the last slide. The only difference is that you know from in CPT from A to B the insurance cost was bear by the buyer. Now both cost freight cost plus insurance cost will be bear by the seller. So this is pretty easy guys. So you can easily remember this one so we go for the five in the fifth input term that is dpu delivery at place on the road. look look at the snap like uh, we have a point a that is a seller uh, in paris and then we have the point b uh, where this normally offloading happens and there's a point c that is the uh, port stamp so when buyer a seller move the stock at the at the place of unloading that can be terminal that can be a warehouse uh, that can be a port so b is the place in berlin 
normally where the first time the stock is offloaded and uh, from that point B to C the responsibility shifts on the uh, buyer so easy so A to B B is a spot where you will offload the stock for example you have a warehouse or something like that hope you understand this one it's easy it's easy uh, now, we, now we go for the D DP delivery duty paid okay in uh, in this input term like uh, remind the previous uh, slide we have seen like from Paris A we're gonna deliver to the Y number C Potsdam so we directly deliver to the uh, from from our warehouse to the uh, the buyer warehouse seller will sell the stock from his own warehouse to the buyer warehouse for example in Qingdao we will ship the units like 200 units from Qingdao warehouse and it will reach at the Mumbai airport and only the liability the duty is paid by the seller and only a small liability of the uh, buyer is to offload the stock this is quite easy thank you please appreciate and uh, subscribe man